Uh, very interesting. We have a Swedish team that's a very uh, traditional team. Has been over the years. They've won the uh, the uh, Champions Hockey League in Frölunder. A very good team. Mountfield is very good Czech team. We got Grenoble, and you're never quite sure what you're getting, but also very interesting. So, yeah, I like the group. Uh, it's always tough nowadays uh, in this tournament. Uh, there's no easy game, so uh, we got to be humble and understand that we play our, need to play our the best to to win. Ah, we got the nice one. So kind of like we really had a top teams, and um, and that's really good for us. So kind of like there is, of course. We try to do our best in every game, and uh, that has been the attitude. We have been already like the last year when I went to Grenoble. It was uh, our goal to get back to the Champions Hockey League, and we have been basically worked for that the whole last year, and we keep working. And of course, now uh, we got the good challenges. So kind of like I'm proud to get those kind of like really, really good opponents there, and it's it's helping our players to develop more and more. So kind of like those kind. Those kind of things are in my mind at this moment. I think uh, our group is good, very interesting, but at the same time, I think it's very, very difficult. Yeah, it's always fun. Uh, we've had a two-year break here. It's been kind of tough with cor Corona and everything else, but I think now with uh, uh, starting up with Champions League, we got to play with fans at the end of the season and excited to get the new season going and being involved in Champions Hockey League. Uh, as always, a lot because it uh, means something special for us to participate in this tournament. I really, ex uh, I've, I have been waiting that to kind of like going back to that level and playing those international games. The last time I was there with the Espo Blues 2015, and uh, it was it was nice to to play all of those games and uh, play against uh, different kind of opponents and uh, see different kind of uh, places. And after that, I have been basically coaching most of the time in uh, in other countries so kind of like it, 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 it's it's always a pleasure and great to be in in, in champions hockey league yeah i'm i'm really looking forward to it we played uh, final champions hockey league in 2020 and i hope we will uh, do good result this year as well yeah, you always want to try to win it. Uh, there's some, you know, Sweden has dominated this competition. It'd be nice to be one of the teams that maybe gets a chance to knock them off for a change. But no, we're excited to play some good teams and hopefully come as far as possible. The goal is obviously to win, but uh, we also need to, to look ahead on the first games and really be in the present and, uh, and, and being humble to understand how good we need to play early in the season to have a chance to advance to the playoffs. Uh, we talk about the goals, so kind of like I think, kind of like after afterwards, we will build uh, some kind of goals with the club, of course, and at, at the same time, we do the same thing with the players. So, a kind of like that's our style, basically, that we do those things, kind of like uh, systematically, and uh, kind of like we will find a good goals for for upcoming CHL season also. Uh, go to final, win, and be. Champion. Hmm. Now seriously, uh, we want to uh, move on from the basic group, and then uh, we'll see. As I said before, uh, we would like uh, to make some success this year.